Welcome to the U World Order Showcase Podcast. Your host, Jill Hart, the coach's alchemist. Couldn't be more excited to have you join us today. On this podcast, we celebrate the champions of change, the up and coming life, health and transformational coaches who are fearlessly stepping forward to make a difference in the world. Get ready for inspiring stories, practical tips, and powerful moments that will motivate you to make a positive change in your life and those around you. We're happy to have you join us on this incredible journey as we dive into the world of life, health, and transformational coaches who are lighting up the path towards a better tomorrow. Hi, and welcome to the U World Order Showcase podcast. Today we have with us Jara Gapel, Gaipel, and she's a hypnotherapist, rapid transformational therapy practitioner, that's a mouthful, <laughs> who helps women get out of their own way and train their minds for prosperity and success so that you can shift your energy into abundance and wealth. Welcome to the show, Jara. It's really exciting to have you here with us. I can hardly wait to talk to you about rapid transformational mm-hmm. therapy. Amazing. Thank you, Jill. Thank you for, yeah, for the introduction and invitation. I'm so excited to be here with you and yeah, to share more about this whole shift into prosperity. So let's start at the beginning. How did you get started in this? And you know what, we were talking a little bit about the power of just just shifting a little, a little shift in how you think of yourself. But first, I want to know how you got started, because other people want to know too. <laughs> yeah, so um, I have to say that actually all my adult life, I was obsessed with personal development. And I remember, I think one of the very beginnings was when with 17, I read the book, um, The Power of the Subconscious Mind by Dr. Joseph Murphy. And mm-hmm. that was super impressive for me back then. And yeah, I mean, my parents were already spiritual and I used to meditate my entire life and I was just fascinated by all these topics. But then, yeah, I had actually one of the most challenging and darkest times in my life in 2019 and beginning of 2020. And as it happens so often in the darkest times that when somehow the guidance comes in And that is when I found Marissa Peer because, yeah, I was searching for purpose, for what can I do? How can I bring my, you know, my spirituality, my deep thinking, my questioning, always searching for what is behind, you know, and and also searching for the purpose. How can I bring that into an occupation? Also, yeah, impacting others, making money with it. I didn't have a clue, but I had a calling somehow. And yeah, then I found Marissa Peer on YouTube and I just couldn't stop watching. And yeah, it, that helped me a lot in that difficult time. And then I heard about her rapid transformational therapy and I knew I have to do that. And I didn't have the money then, but yeah, I found a way that someone helped me. And two weeks later, I signed up and I was in. <laughs> yeah, so. Which kind of goes along with what it is that you coach people on, which is helping them overcome money blocks. And you had, you had a barrier to what you desired and tell us kind of how that process went. Yeah. So I got into this whole topic of clearing money blocks, shifting the relationship to money, because Mm -hmm. when I was a child, the main theme and energy around money was we don't have enough. There is not enough. We don't make enough. And that was like, that was so heavy and huge. Like my mother has still, she's in scarcity. But back then, when I was a child, I remember that she really was in such scarcity patterns that caused her anxiety and desperation. And yeah, and my father was more in that denial, you know, he always said like, oh, we will be fine. 
with a smile, but actually behind that was the denial of because the the actual situation was too painful to face for him because he couldn't afford, you know, uh, for us what he actually wanted. So that was a huge um, block that I grew up with. And then in my adulthood, I had times where I made a lot of money and then, yeah, somehow I went into not having enough again. And that is when I started to say, wait a moment, there's so much more to it. And then when I went into hypnotherapy and then also coaching, I saw that this is a topic that no entrepreneur can bypass. We all have to look at our relationship with money because it influences every area of our life, no matter if it's our relationships and, you know, how we go out with our partner or if we want to do trips and travel. And I mean, most of us, we have freedom as our core values, right? But what does it mean? I mean, we want to travel. We want to maybe eat out. We want to afford good things for our children. We want to have a beautiful home. Like we want to create a healthy lifestyle, you know, with um, really nutritional, like valuable food. So all that requires money. And yeah, for that, we have to go inside as so often and look at what is really our relationship to money. And that brought me to this, yeah, to this topic of mindset and energy around money because of my own experience, but also because I saw that it's something that we all have to deal with and I that is my absolute mission now and I'm so passionate about it to really help women look at their relationship to money and clear the money blocks shift into prosperity so they can earn what they deserve and really grow their business make a bigger impact and bigger in income because that is how where I believe that's how we can um, yeah contribute to positive changes here on the planet. And I'm all about the positive changes. Yeah. Would you say that it's more important to have a mission, like an idea of how you want to bring value versus just wanting to make money? Oh, yes, for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because money is the tool. Money is the tool of exchange. And I would say that we can't even really grow our income or make a lot of money by focusing on the money itself it doesn't work we need to focus on what does it change for us what does it bring for us you know like mm -hmm. what do we really want um what do we de what do we desire how do we want to live how do we want to you know help others or um yeah how do we want our home to look like our business? How do we want to travel or influence other people? Because it is about that picture and that feeling. And not really, of course, we need the money for that, but we can only create the money and pull it into our life when we know the picture and the feeling of how we want our life to be. Yeah. And how we're contributing in, yeah. into the pot. I yeah. like to think of, of life as like a symphony mm -hmm. and everybody is their own instrument and mm -hmm. the instrument doesn't ask itself you know how am I going to get there and how much is it going to cost for me to continue to be able to play the notes effectively all it focuses on is playing those notes really yeah. really well yes and it, yes. it's in the the sending out of that vi vibration that the whole rest of the piece of music, which is all of the pieces, all of the instruments coming together, really make, make a difference in the, the overall sound that others get to experience. I love that. That's a, that's a beautiful picture. Yeah. It's yeah, I'm, I'm really, that's, that is my mission is to help people yeah. understand that you are a great instrument and you're, you're just like, mm. your notes are so beautiful. And I want, I want them to blend in with all the, the other notes out there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> beautiful. Often, you know, I also say to people or also to my clients, <laughs> when we want to shift our focus like a bit from away from the money itself but look at what can I do to make myself feel better 
how can I get into a, a lighter vibe? You know, what can I do so that I'm happier, that I'm lighter, that I feel like things are easier? Or how can I relax more as well? Because it's about the state of being. It's really about our energy. Because no matter how much we do or how matter, no matter how much we focus on money or, you know, um, tell ourselves all the affirmations or all the things, if we don't resonate with it on a feeling level, if we don't uh, get into a vibe, then it's it's still disconnected and it's still hard. <laughs> yeah, it is. And it's really easy to go into old patterns, which sure. is, I yeah. think, why hip, hypnotherapy where that comes in because that really is a fast process to yes shift yeah yeah it is absolutely i mean in hypnotherapy we work with the subconscious mind which has um all our experiences conditioning beliefs all the things stored and it actually runs 95 percent of our behavior and that is what we access and work with in in with hypnotherapy and when we then create changes, I mean, the specific method that I work with, it's also in the session, we create the change, but then my clients, they get a personalized hypnosis recording, um, which is really tailored to their, what they need to hear to their new beliefs and new version of themselves that they are becoming. And they listen to that every day for a minimum of 21 days. And that is mm -hmm. what endures the lasting change. So that's very powerful. It is really powerful. And if you listen to stuff like that, like as you're going to sleep, then mm -hmm. it just like, it plays in your, in yeah. your subconscious, like the whole night long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you get the incredible results. I've been doing this experiment and oh, people may think this is hokey, but I'm, it is actually an experiment that I'm doing. I have this music that I've listened to that is supposed to um change my frequency as far mm -hmm. as having money come to me and mm -hmm. i have this robin hood account that's mainly cryptocurrencies which you know they fluctuate up and down so yeah. i'm wondering the nights that i listen to the to the to the music it's like 15 minutes the next day i look at the the account to see if it's going up or it's going down and it's really interesting a lot of the times when i'm listening it goes up. Wow, that's so interesting. Instantly, it goes way up. And when I stop listening, it starts to go down. Really? That's like so cool. Uh huh. I mean, you know, at the end, we know that everything is energy. And mm -hmm. on an energy level, you are connected with your bank account. You are connected with all the pieces and parts and aspects in your life. Even if those are things, you know, you are connected to them. And we don't know, we haven't learned really what power we hold with our thoughts and with our mind. But what you focus on, we know what we focus on, um, yeah, we give energy to. Mm -hmm. So if you raise your vibration, and in particular with, um, yeah, a song or, you know, um, something you listen to that, that, yeah, raises your vibration and particularly related to money, then actually, if you think about that, all the things in your life that have to do with money, they should actually, they hear that, they respond to that. So it does make sense, right? Yeah, I, I think it's, I don't even know if the music itself is, I don't know the dynamics of the music itself, but yeah. I do know that it's the the emotion that I put behind it and it's mm -hmm. the the way I perceive it mm -hmm. is where all the magic is. Because exactly. I everything exists and that. doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it doesn't even matter about the music. It is that you believe mm -hmm. this helps you somehow with your money, you know? And if you believe that and you raise your, let's just say, your money vibration, then you will see a response or a result there. Yeah. And it's an expectation. I, I think a yeah. little bit of this about expectations. I, I expect something to happen and mm -hmm. therefore I look for confirmation for that expectation that I yeah. plan on receiving to, to materialize in this, yeah. this realm 
because I think everything does exist all at the same time. All possible mm -hmm. outcomes exist, all possible, anything we can imagine already exists because we imagined it. Yeah. It can't not exist because it was in yes. our heads. Yes. There are spider goats in our town. <laughs> <laughs> about those in a second but it's the fact that everything exists that makes everything a possibility and it's yeah. it's as we become more aware of that possibility it starts to take shape so now let me tell you about the spider goats there there are these goats they're actually down in logan but they um they're genetically modified creatures and out of the milk they're able to um synthesize the spider silk out of the milk they they spin it really? out of the milk they milk the goats and then they spin the milk and then the the spider threads are separated and they use it in, in lots of lots lots of different processes like medical and um making kevlar and stuff because really i've never spider, heard of that spider silk is so so strong but um it goes back to you know who thought about this who was yeah. sitting there thinking hey i think i'll mess with the dna of goats and make mix it with orb spiders so we can make silk that's it's a bit <laughs> crazy honestly i've never heard of this like in you know spider goats um but yeah everything starts with a thought and once someone had a thought as you say, once someone imagined something, it was brought into existence on a certain level. And then the more you, yeah, the more someone then creates a picture around that, more thoughts, maybe more people join in thinking about that, visualizing it, imagining it, mm -hmm. because really our imagination is our superpower. And then at some point it is possible to create it on, on the material level here. Yeah. And, and the more people that you have joining in, which is kind of why I do this podcast, the, the more, the more energy that gets behind it. So I truly believe we're changing the world just you by yeah. Absolutely. Getting, getting together one, yeah. one on one or one to a group and, and sharing these ideas and helping people with the tools to actually realize their potential and yeah. to take action on it. it yeah yeah absolutely agree yeah it's so amazing so do, when you work with people do you work with them mainly one-on-one -on -one or do you work with them in groups or is it like a combination how, do, how does all that work? um yeah both so I've got my six months mastermind um, yeah, which is a six months container and that is a group program, but there is also some one-on-one -on -one support. Like there are three one-on-one -on -one calls as well. And also the personalized hypnosis recording. And then I do work one-on-one -on -one with people as well. And particularly when it comes to the RTT, I do offer a 28 day RTT package. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I also offer just one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. So both. And we were talking about a Facebook group that you have and it's. Yes. Yes. I do have a Facebook group, female coaches, clear money blocks and increase income. Mm -hmm. That is my Facebook group where I offer a lot of free, valuable, you know, trainings, weekly lives. Also, I regularly run impactful online events that happens in that group as well. And yeah, there's just a lot of support, free promotion as well. And that's something, yeah, that's a group where I invite anyone into. If you are interested to hear more about clearing money blocks or how you can shift your mindset and energy into prosperity so that you can actually increase your income and your impact. Yeah, I love that. And it's it's just facebook.com forward slash groups with an S forward slash money coaches. Yes. And and it will have a different name when you get there, not the URL name. So don't be confused. And I will put the link in the show notes so that people can Amazing. find it easily. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, do you do you run your um, your mastermind on a schedule or is it like 
everybody no, can join as a rolling. Yes. Yes, yes. Everybody can join because, um, yeah, we have eight modules that are available where everyone can go through in their own timing. And then we mm -hmm. have bi-weekly Q&A calls where I just give a lot of coaching support. And then we have bi-weekly, like every other week, it's a training call. Either we go deeper on a module or any other relevant topic um, around, yeah, mindset and energy or money. And yeah, then we have some guest speakers and yeah more additional trainings and just really we do goal setting together we celebrate wins also we have quarterly goal setting sessions and also group hypnosis sessions so yeah there's a lot happening in this mastermind <laughs> and you can Sounds join like it, it. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about rapid transformational therapy H how does that work i, I really yeah, don't so know anything about it that is a very special and powerful method that Marissa Peer put together in her 30 years of experience. Mm -hmm. And it's actually much more than hypnosis. Um, she put it together from different methods. So how it works is that I bring my client into hypnosis, into this deep, relaxed state where we can mm -hmm. communicate with the subconscious mind. And then I regress my clients back to the root cause of the issue. So I command their subconscious mind to go back to a scene or a place or event and time that has everything to do with, you know, why, where, when they acquired that belief or that issue or problem. And we do that a couple of times just to see the common, the common belief and the common feeling. Mm -hmm. um, so, for example, if someone feels like, you know, has an issue with not feeling worthy, not feeling worthy of deserve and, and deserving of money, then yeah, I guide them back to find out where does that come from? Because when we come here as babies, we don't have those beliefs and scarcity of thinking and all the things, right? So yeah, so we somehow in our life, we, we, yeah, we happen to take on these beliefs. And then, yeah, we, I do have different tools from the RTT, how we can do the healing work around that, you know, and also how we can upgrade the child, how we can bring these, the inner child and these aspects of ourselves that are still emotionally connected to the past experience. How can we disconnect that and heal it and really bring it into our life now? And there are different tools to do the healing work. And then, um, we get very clear on what is it actually that the client wants because the, you know, digging deep and discovering is one part. And the other part is what do we actually want? Because as long as we focus on the problem, we don't solve it. We need to shift then and look at what can be a solution. You know, what are my new thoughts? How do I actually want to feel or um, who am I becoming? What is my future version, that version of myself that has achieved my my goals and a certain income or impact or whatever it is, you know, and we, mm -hmm. we have that really clear. That is where I then um, create the personalized hypnosis recording um, about as well that they take away so that every day they listen to the new beliefs and embody. Can, yeah, can then embody in daily life their future version yeah so that is in a nutshell so, how it works so how does that actually look in practical terms when somebody is like say they think that they've got money blocks and then they come well, to you okay. yeah so i do the rtt in a 28 day pa package so first okay. there's a questionnaire where they fill out a questionnaire. So, because we need to gather all the information, we need to find out first, what is the main issue? And then there is a first call. There is a coaching session where we go over the intake form, where we really speak about what are the issues. Also, we need to nail it a bit because the more precise we can speak to our subconscious mind, the more, the, the, the clearer and better the answers or the, the results we, we get. So, um, yeah, we speak about everything that comes up and then we really look at what is the one main issue or belief that they or problem, you know, if we don't know what is the belief underneath, it can be a problem how it always shows up in their life, you know, mm -hmm. and then we take that for the RTT session and I regress back on, yeah, 
on that particular issue or or a belief and clear it and then does it ever come back um i would say it's not going to come back how it was before however like for most people they shift already in the session or they shift the days after the week after i mean we are all different every issue is mm -hmm. different so for some they have that huge breakthrough some they change like you know in the weeks after and for some it even takes a bit longer and then when they look back they feel like oh wow actually now i realize that i really changed you know it's different for everyone and with money block patterns they can be sneaky. They can come back, but it will be then a bit, let's just say a bit of a softer version. And that is then where the client also gets some tools, you know, how they can really, when it comes back, navigate through that. Because at the end, it's also a choice. Once we've done the healing work, it is then a choice. What do I want to focus on? Which thoughts do I want to think? What are the beliefs that I really want to take on? So if the old stuff comes up, um, we need to basically acknowledge it. We can talk to our own mind. I mean, our mind is here to protect us, to support us, to make us survive on this planet, to keep mm -hmm. us safe, right? So if we can speak to our mind and say, hey, that's okay, thank you. You just want to protect me, you know, it's all right, but I choose to think differently now. I choose to, you know, move forward to do scary steps and I'm fine with that I can protect myself and then we get really powerful and clear about yeah who we are and who we want to become and then yeah the old stuff can come back but it's not going to be that powerful yeah that makes a lot of sense I was yeah, just good. curious about that if and I'm sure others are curious too. It's also, <laughs> you know, it also, of course, it depends what happens in your life or in your business. Very often when we when we up level on every other level, every new level, you know, where we expand certain old blocks or fears, they can come in again on a different level, you know, in a different way. But it's it's an ongoing process and journey. I mean, it's it's like that with the whole inner work, right? It's with our development. It's it's a li lifelong journey. And also with our relationship to money, of course, we shift more and more, but we also expand. We grow our income. And then there are, you know, maybe doubts, maybe fears, maybe things from the past or even from other people that somehow affect us where we just have to be really do yeah do, continuously do the work and be really clear on who we who we want to be and how we want that relationship to look like and i've i've heard that when it comes to money we have like we have set points it's kind of like weight loss <laughs> only in the other direction mm -hmm. where you you hit a certain point like for a monthly income and it's like you know, your income's not going to go below that, mm -hmm. but you want to grow beyond it. Do you want to, I know what you, you mean. know what I'm talking I mean, about or. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. And that is a very interesting topic because I think many people, they face that at some point, but for everyone, it looks a bit different. Right. And mm -hmm. I just can give some examples. Um, For example, when you know, there you know where you give your money to, right? And there are some non-negotiables for you. For example, maybe the hairdresser and massage or whatever it could be. You will mm -hmm. make the money for that. You're not going to go right. below that. So it's a thing in your mind. It's really, it's a belief. It's a choice that you have in your mind so strongly that, yeah, it just works out. And it's the same, you know, when some people say, okay, may, just for example, someone is at, I don't know, three or four or five or 10,000 a month level, and they feel like they can't break through that. Mm -hmm. We, that it's the same thing, actually. They have, they have a certain number of how much they can make or what their life costs them. 
and they want to go beyond, but they don't have that picture. They don't have a different calculation of how could life look like if I expand more, if I spend more, if I allow more in. And this is where the point comes in again. You can't just focus on the money. You need to focus on your heart, on your energy, on your life. And then you can work on breaking through these mm, levels because I mean, they are not existing, right? That's just in our mind. There is no, there is not really a difference. Money so, doesn't actually for, exist. Yeah, well, depends it, it on which does. level, right? I mean, it does exist for us. I also, you know, I have to say, I believe behind the physical tool of money, I mean, it's an energy. We've heard money is a frequency and an energy. And I really believe that we are, we are divine abundant beings. We have this divine spark, right? And we have this life force energy, the connection to soul. There's this specific life force energy that we can feel. And mm -hmm. that is abundance. That is prosperity and wealth, this feeling, this energy. And that is the same as the frequency of money. That's yes. the same, the same energy. So yes. somehow I would say it does exist, but how we made it then, you know, what it is in the physical world, it's just a bit off, one could say. <laughs> and sometimes in the physical world, when you talk about money, people think um, when they're giving their money away, that somehow there's it, one side goes down and the other side goes up on a balance scale, but it's not true. All it's doing is changing places. It's it's actually yeah. it, it should be the same or yes. it should raise the whole lever up but yeah. there's there's balance as there should the lever be a balance yeah and, and, and it a... should raise the whole thing up so True. that the energy that has been exchanged goes beneath what's being exchanged yeah. and lifts the whole thing up so the exchange of money for goods and services should be a positive on both sides, but we've been trained for so long to believe that you're when you when you exchange money for something that you're you're somehow losing something in the equation. It's yeah, it's, it's a lack it's it's a lack mentality, but it's also a theft mentality. Yeah. Believe that you're being swindled or you're. Mm. Whether you are or not, or whether you consciously think that, sometimes people get into that that thought process, and it makes it hard to let go of money mm -hmm. because they're not. But you, you know, have to let go with one hand to grab yeah. with the other, and it's got to keep moving. That's what's Absolutely, currency. I totally agree. But you know, actually, that is a scarcity of thinking, because, mm -hmm. and that is a matter of focus. Because the thing is, when we give money, we receive something in return. Yeah. Even if it's just the coffee that we buy or we pay for, I don't know, we pay for our internet or whatever it is, we get something in return. And this is where our focus comes in. Because so very often I see people, you know, there is this tension and they are scared that, oh, there are all these bills and I just see all the money going and going and they are tense and afraid that they will be left with nothing, you know? But when we then- they forget the... And, yeah, when we relax a moment and say, wait a moment, now look at all the things that you actually receive for the money that you pay. And suddenly you feel like, oh, wow, there's this, 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 this is coming to me, is coming in. That is what I purchased. That is what I receive then you feel like, oh, wow, that's so much. And then you can say, wow, thank you. And then you can come to a stage where you can even pay your bills with joy and with gratitude because mm -hmm. it's your choice, you know, to pay them and to receive that. And you are grateful for what you receive and that money makes it possible in this 3D reality as a tool that we can create through money, the life, the house, the home, like, anything that we that we want so it's it's really it's a shift it's a um, shift of focus here mm -hmm. exactly yeah <clears throat>
This has been an interesting conversation, Jara. I've mm -hmm. really enjoyed it. So what's the one thing that you hope the audience takes away from this conversation? We've covered so much. <laughs> We've covered a lot. And um, yeah, the most important what I think or what I want to share, we actually touched on this, is that we need to come back to ourselves. Because like one of my really favorite people and teacher is Regan Hillier. And she says the sentence um, that we need to recognize the abundance within in order to create abundance without. And this is really to all the people who are wondering, how can you overcome the money block? How can you stop worrying about money or, you know, get out of scarcity? Just relax, relax, come back to yourself, come back to your heart and really look at the amazing being that you are here because you are abundance. You are abundance, you are wealth, you are prosperity because you are, you are divine, you are from soul, you know? So it can't be otherwise and anything else is a layer. So whenever there's tension and worries, and I know it's easier said than done as often, <laughs> But really, place your hands on your heart and connect deeper with yourself and take a deep breath and look at all the things that you have that you are grateful for. And look at the all the little or big things in daily life that you can do that make you relax more, that make you smile, that make you feel happier, that make you feel like, wow, thank you. Actually, this is good. This is nice. And even if it's just the cup of tea that you can have there on your couch or the sunbeam that comes through the window, it doesn't matter. It is all about that feeling and that vibe in our heart. And when we build that up, we can build up the trust, the trust to ourselves, life, higher power, whatever you believe in, you know, and also the trust in money. And when you start to live and to act and to do your business from that place, you will see that first of all, you take aligned action. You are different and the world and others will also respond differently and also money will start to flow easier. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining me today, Jara. Thank you so much for this amazing conversation and for the invitation. It's been really, really nice to, yeah, to speak with you, to be here. Thank you so much for tuning in to another empowering episode of the You World Order Showcase podcast. We hope you've enjoyed hearing from our incredible life, health, and transformational coaches who are making a profound impact on the world. Remember, change begins with you, and you have the power to transform your life and the lives of others. If you want to take that next step and unlock your true potential, visit thecoachesalchemist.com where you can find the three ways we can help you for free to spin your talent into gold with clarity, a system, and a plan. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss an inspiring episode. And if you enjoyed today's show, we'd greatly appreciate it if you could leave us a review on your favorite podcast platform. Your feedback means the world to us and helps us reach more people with our positive message. Stay connected with us on social media for updates, behind the scenes content, and upcoming guest announcements. You can find us on Facebook at the U World Order or simply visit thecoachesalchemist.com. <laughs>